Hey, welcome to our episode of Chance Beer Reviews. Just like the good old days, we're gonna panel in the kitchen. <laughs> Jay is here for the first time in a long time. Almost a year. Yeah, almost a year. And Chris is here after 24 hours. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we got a pretty special beer today. This is the 2009 vintage Brooklyn Black Ops. It's a uh, stout aged in bourbon barrels, 11.6% uh, ABV. And if we look on the back here, it says, uh, age, this is their black chocolate stout, aged for four months in bourbon barrels, bottled flat, and re-fermented with champagne yeast, creating big chocolate and coffee flavors with a rich underpinning of vanilla-like oak notes. They say only a thousand cases were made. I'm holding up to the window, and I see nothing through it. Yeah. It's yeah. totally opaque black. Yep. Absolutely. Uh, because of that, you can't tell if there's anything going on, like yeast sediment or anything like that. Yeah. Which tends to be a surprise sometimes. Yeah, I don't. Uh, uh, there's a little mud in the bottle, so. Uh, you seem to get some sort of head generated with the tulip glass, but yeah. me and Chris have little or yeah. none. Yeah, I had about as much as you a minute ago, but it's pretty much gone now. Which yeah, I. It's, a, it's <coughs> like a real dark brown soap sudsy head. Mm -hmm. Which is expected since it's a high alcohol percentage. You're yeah. not traditionally going to get a large head anyway. Yeah. How's it smell? Aroma? It smells really good. I definitely smell the bourbon. Oh, yeah. It's, and, and kind of van a vanilla, almost like a spice rum. I get like a mixture of like a red wine and a bourbon mixed. Like yeah. It does yeah. slightly remind me of like the, um, the Goose Island Bourbon County Stout. Yeah. A little bit of like, yeah, like a sour red grape in there or something. Yeah. I can see, I, I, and it, it does have that kind of wine smell to it too. Yeah. So, yeah. All right, well, let's try it. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. I noticed was like a like a dark cherry flavor. Yeah. Did you get that? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. The first thing I noticed was like a smoke flavor. I noticed it like a smoke or a burnt flavor. Almost like a burnt chocolate. Yeah. I get that like in the aftertaste, definitely. Yeah. Um, it's real sweet up front, mm -hmm. and then through the middle is like a little more just like kind of like a generic alcohol kind of flavor, and then the aftertaste is all that bourbon barrel, like vanilla. Um, yeah, definitely vanilla. I don't really get much chocolate in here, though. Well, it's funny to me because um, the black chocolate stout that they make, which I would call this like the grandfather of black chocolate yeah. stout, um, it does have the similar characteristics of the black chocolate stout. And I believe the black chocolate stout is actually not made with chocolate. I think they just use a chocolate milk. Yeah, yeah, I think that's the case. So I'm thinking that that might be the same exact thing. It's maybe just the same beard, but they just redid it. You know, and that might be why you don't get such a real big chocolate flavor as opposed mm -hmm. to those other flavors. Yeah, like I said, I was getting that initial sweetness that Chad was talking about, followed by like this kind of smoky aftertaste. And yeah. Definitely, you can feel the alcohol on your tongue. Yeah, <laughs> no question. I can feel some in the throat too. Yeah. Oh yeah. I, absolutely. I agree 100 percent with your thought process there. Yeah. You get that sweetness up front, followed by a smokiness, and then the alcohol kind of lingers there in the tongue. Yeah, it's not bad. It's it's strong. Yeah. You know what's interesting about it though is that it's so considering how big of a beer it is, it's actually really really drinkable. Yeah, it's not too hard on the palate. It's very yeah. smooth. Which yeah, makes, very smooth. Yeah. Which makes it easy. The other the other than, noticeable thing is I could smell that red wine present or that bourbon present, but I don't really get that in the taste so much. No. Yeah. So it's like more, it's more ar aromatic yeah. than it is yeah. 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 flavorful. Because if you just took a whiff of this, you'd think, oh, and if someone had a blind taste test, you'd be like, is that red wine? Yeah. But then you taste it and you'd be like, that's not red wine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's interesting. I got, I poured a little bit of yeast in mine, so it's getting a little more bitter now. So I am getting like kind of a coffee coffee flavor, coffee bitterness out of it. Hmm. Um, and like a, like a dark chocolate, because dark chocolate tends to be a little bitter. Right. Um, it's nice because like it's sweet, but it's not like sickly cloying sweet. No. It's, uh, it's got a real good balance. The um, other thing for me that I, I think it might be a little colder than I would like. Yeah. Because yeah. I think the cold is holding back some of the flavor. Yeah. We Maybe. got it out for 15 20 minutes maybe. Yeah, uh, and I still have a nice large amount of glass here, so maybe it will warm up and bring more flavor mm -hmm. out. Yeah. I'm about ready to rate right now. Do you want to take a break or just keep going? Take a break. Alright. We'll 
we'll be right back. All right, well, we're all back, and we all have just a little bit of beer left, and I know traditionally Chad doesn't do, like, a final chug, but I always do. So Chad did save himself a little bit to do a final chug, and Chris, you're going to do a final chug with us as well? Absolutely. I'm <laughs> so, waiting for it. So with that said, we're going to do a final chug, and we'll all go through and give a final thought and grade. What do you think? Sure. All right, cool. Cheers. This, this is really, I'm a big fan of stouts for starters, and I'm a big fan of uh, the whiskey family, so anything aged in bourbon casks I think is great. Um, I've had a handful of stouts, not some of the ones these guys have talked about, but um, I don't think I've ever had a stout aged in bourbon before. Um, I think it's rather good, it's really smooth. Um, I'd give it, I guess if I had to put a number on it, I'd probably give it like an 8. I actually I really like this. Alright, um, I'm going to go a little bit higher. I, I really like this one. I've heard, you know, mixed thoughts on it, like when you get like a fresh one. It's like a beer that like almost demands, you know, to have some age on it. And this has two years on it. And I thought it was really smooth. I thought like, I really dug the, the typical stout and bourbon barrel kind of qualities to it. Like, I think, I said off camera, it reminds me of like a watered down KBS. I mean, it has some of the similar notes but just not with the same intensity as a KVS. Um, actually, kind of reminds me of Brown's Whiskey Barrel Porter, but... With oh, yeah, or yeah, it really does, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Um, not as much chocolate as I'd like, and, you know, they said it's, you know, reef with champagne yeast. I didn't really get any champagne qualities out of it, other than a bigger head than these two guys, but... Uh, uh, yeah, I really liked it, and I thought, like, this... Like, what really brings it up for me is the drinkability is like in the balance of like where it's nice and sweet with the the bitterness there but it's not like it finishes fairly like it's not like a residual you know sticky or dry after taste right. it's a nice it's a nice present i don't think i could kill a whole bottle myself but it's for 11.6 percent it's it's very damn drinkable and i i really like i'm gonna give this a nine that's a that's an excellent in my world all right and as for myself um i'm actually gonna go a little bit lower than both of you guys uh I thought there were some good qualities about it, but I also think about other beers that I had that are branded similar to this and thought how much better those were than this. Uh, first off, it is a black chocolate uh, beer that's been aged in whiskey barrel. Again, I didn't get that much of a... Oh, is it? Just... Damn! Okay. I didn't get that much of a, a chocolate presence that I thought I would get. And the other part is, I thought the nose was better than the yeah. mouth, feet, the mouth flavor, and the flavor I got in the mouth. So like, when I pulled it to my nose, and I go, "Oh, that smells great," and I tasted it, I was like, I was a little disappointed from what the nose was to the mouth, yeah. and because of that, that kind of hurt a little bit. As it got warmer, it did get a little bit better, but um, it still was a little bit less than what I expected, especially when you consider that a bottle like that goes from anywhere from sixteen to twenty dollars a bottle, and I've had. A beer just I had the other day yeah. was cheaper, was six dollars a bottle, and I liked better than that. So when I factor all that in, it does bring it down a little bit. But overall, it was a well done beer. It was smooth, and the eleven percent was hardly noticeable, which is yeah. really great. Yeah. So those were good qualities. I just can't give it the distinction of some of the great beers I've had because it falls a little flat on them. So I'm going to go with a score of a, a good in my book, and in your book that would be about a seven. Yeah, seven. So seven, eight, and nine. Overall, I mean, yeah, it still, averages out to eight. It averages it's out to an eight between the three of us, so yeah, that's still be pretty good. Your score. <laughs> yeah, I'm right. I'm in the middle. So. <laughs> thanks, thanks again to Patrick for donating the bottle. Yeah, and nice. uh, thanks for watching. And if you've got requests, leave them in the description or in the comments box. And we'll see you next time. Bye.